Hi, I'm Richard Slade from the Seaward Group, and in this short video we're going to be covering a topic that we get asked more and more by our customers, and that's identifying counterfeit electrical products. So to do this, we're going to be using our Seaward pack tester, and this very useful UK plug checker card um, issued by the Electrical Safety First. Anybody carrying that pack tester would highly recommend has one of these. So to start off with then, uh, we're going to have a look at this standard IEC kettle lead. Straight away, uh, we can tell just the feel of the quality. It doesn't feel like it's been made very well. If we look at this particular one here, uh, we can see here that the moulding going into the plug there is of an angle. It's not even moulded in straight. Again, visually inspecting the plug, we can see here that the top earth pin there has actually got an insulated sleeve. So therefore, any appliance that's being used with this particular IEC lead will not have any earth protection when it's plugged into the mains. If I then use it against my uh, checker card here, and slot it in the top we can see red around the edges which means it doesn't there's not enough clearance between uh, where you'll be handed in the plug and your live and neutral pins and again if we measure that against the distance of the pins you can see it's not covering the blue so therefore the pins aren't as long as they should be now moving on from there if we actually then plug that in and use the pat tester and this is the reason for the importance of Pat testing, if I switch the pat tester on. I should carry out a core test and immediately the pat tester will indicate a fail on earth continuity as it's detected that the earth pin there is in fact insulated. So next up we have another IEC kettle lead. So on first visual inspection we can see straight away that this particular plug has no fuse. On top of that with the uh, secondly we can see here that there is no insulation on the live and neutral pins. And like the last one where we had insulation on the earth we have none on live and neutral here. If I then go to my UK plug checker we can see here straight away that the clearance distance is way under what it should be which again makes it especially dangerous as we have no uh, insulation on the live and neutral there. So on vision inspection of this particular lead, we can tell immediately that it's an unsafe counterfeit product. So here we have an example of two travel adapters, counterfeit travel adapters. Again, on vision inspection, we can see on both of these, neither have a fuse present, which means the user is not protected against electric shock. On this particular example we have here, we can see that the earth pin on this one again is insulated. So should an item be used with this, they've got no earth protection. If we then move over to the uh, card checker, you can see in both scenarios, both fall short of the required clearance distance required. And then if we look at the pin sizes, again, they fall short there as well. Now, obviously with these being multi-use adapters, they are designed to be used in a certain way, but what makes them more dangerous is although I can plug in my uh, European plug in the required format, it also enables me to plug it in in a combination of other life to neutral life to earth, which again makes them very highly dangerous. Moving on from there, what makes them even further dangerous is if we look at a standard UK 13 amp plug here, it enables me to actually plug the equipment in upside down. So again, just another example there, a couple of examples there, some highly dangerous counterfeit electrical products. Thank you for taking the time to watch our short video. For more information, please visit our website. And for the latest industry news and events, please follow us via our social media. Look forward to seeing you soon.